my son as you guys know if you watch my previous videos during the summer i wanted to make sure that tayer continues to do his schoolwork and stays super active um, with his academics and he is doing so freaking amazing while i am working wait when let me show them while i am working he actually does his homework and he does it on his own without me having to tell him um some of these i have um done with him wait baby <laughs> wait, wait wait some of these i've done with him but this he completed by himself and i'm so freaking proud of him i had to um share this with you guys because that is amazing he followed instructions to a t and he was able to complete that assignment on his own i'm so freaking proud of him he's um reading the directions and doing exactly what is being asked i'm so freaking proud of him now um okay okay count then cross out one object in each row how many are left write the number the first one is done for you okay so we're gonna have to go over this okay i'm gonna do this one with you he actually was asking for my help one, with this two, three, four. Five. No. One, two, one, three, two, four. four five. Good. You're right. Five. So how did you get six? Because it's six on the tricks. What? Six on the tricks from number blocks. Come I think I get what he was doing. So he thought that it was asking him to add one, but what they were doing was asking him to um, subtract one. So he went and added on versus subtracting. So I'm going to go ahead and break that down to him. Um, he's a super quick learn learner and um, super smart. Let me see, baby. Good job. What number comes after six? What comes, af what comes after six? Seven. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you, okay? what is up guys welcome back to the channel it is another vlog right now i am in the parking lot at camp creek plaza and i just came from and then tell you because we're going to soccer camp yes omari is going to soccer camp so we just got him his cleats cleats Oh, that. That is the football player. <laughs> what? That so, he got cleats in a size 12. Yeah. These are from Hibbit. They were $30. Mm -hmm. And then we also got him some um, shin guards. Shin guards. So, in my last video, which should be uploaded by now, um, I told you guys that Omari was going to soccer camp for the summer. Yeah. So, soccer camp starts on Monday. Yes, Monday. Are, his soccer camp is back at home where we back live, which is three hours away from Atlanta. Yeah. But, um, we're actually going to be going home on Sunday so that he can make it in time for soccer camp on mm -hmm. Monday. Um, so that's really good. I'm happy about him going to soccer camp. Like I said, this is his first time actually like um, playing any sports and stuff like that. Like he's very energetic. He has so much energy, but this is gonna be like his first time really um, engaging in sports and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about that. But this is the start of the vlog. I might make this a weekly vlog. Um, I might make this a, like a weekly vlog. Today is Friday, so I might just make it one week. So from Friday, from this Friday to next Friday, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. I'm actually on my break from work and they're gonna kill me cause I'm gonna be a little bit late back clocking in. You. 
but um you're right they're not gonna kill me but um so yeah guys right now we're gonna go get some food i am hungry i want to no. go get some something to eat he um tony washed my car the other day and tony and when when is my son okay let me go over this real quick uh Tyre is my son's like first name. That's his first name that we named him, Tyre. Hello. <laughs> his middle name is Omari. <laughs> and that's the name that I use like yeah. when I refer to him on my channel. But you might hear me call him Wynn as well. Yeah. And Wynn is like his nickname. <laughs> that's the name that his um, father gave him. His biological father gave him that nickname. And we still call him that. So yeah, so you may hear me call him Omari, you may hear me call him Wynn, and then if I'm, you know, trying to put him in his place, I might call him Tyre, like Tyre, listen, okay? Tyre. But long story short, we're about to go get some food, I gotta head back home, I have some things to do, but that was our first stop of the day. Came to Hibbits, got him some things, for soccer camp and I may need to come back out tomorrow and get him um I may need to come back out tomorrow and get him some gym shorts he has a pair but I want him to have a pair that matches his cleats so that's probably what I'm gonna have to come back out for tomorrow but yeah guys all right so let me go get some food because i'm hungry and i have to go back to work shortly so sit back put on your seatbelt. all right guys i'll be back i don't want to be driving and trying to vlog at the same time so yes. I know y'all say every time this girl starts a vlog, she looks a hot ass mess. Y'all, bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> I just woke up. We're about to get ready to take Omari to soccer camp. This is his fourth day of soccer camp. So far, he's been enjoying it. He's been having lots of fun. So, this is his fourth and last day, his fourth and final day of soccer camp. I am back at home. As you guys can see, I am not in Tony's kitchen. I am at my house. All right, guys. So, as you can see, he's been having fun in soccer camp. Um, he's really been enjoying it. So, we are about to hit the road and get out of here. Uh, once again, guys, welcome back to the vlog. And, yeah. Cool. Soccer camp. Was it fun? Yeah. It was awesome. You got the most energetic award. Yeah. Wow. Because my mom had to come to my soccer camp. He's not going to Because he's going to soccer camp with me. Here. Because your shirt. This is your last day of soccer camp. You had fun? Yeah. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite homegirl, Ashley, and we are back at it again with another vlog. Guys, today has been so busy. 
Um, I am hot. Today has been really busy. Um, I quit my job today. <laughs> I quit my job today randomly. I actually had a plan to um, give them my resignation letter on the 18th of uh, July, but I woke up this morning and I was just over it. Um, so that's it, you know. I'm ready for advancement. I'm ready for career level opportunities. Um, I'm ready for just expansion in my business, just getting back to the core of what I really enjoy doing. Um, my nine to five, I was not, it's, it's not, it's not purpose filled. It's not anything that, um, it's not anything that I truly want to be a part of. And I feel like everything else is working out for me in my life, but that one part was just like, uh-uh. So I walked away from that today. Um, I, I actually just got back in town. So I just got back to Atlanta um, late last night. So I am here in Atlanta for another three weeks. Like I told you guys, I think you seen in the last clip, I was back at home in the borough um, because Omari had soccer camp. So we were there for about one week. He had soccer camp. I still was working at the time. So, um, so yeah. So yesterday I took the day off, drove back out here to Atlanta to hang out with my boyfriend, of course, if you guys um, already know, then you know. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Ashley. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my content. Um, oh, I'm talking, my lips are dry, y'all. Y'all ain't tell me my lips were dry. But, um, so I'm about to head home now. I went to Ikea because I need a desk and a chair. And as you guys know, I do have a desk and a chair at my house, which I'll eventually move over later once I go back home after the summer. But, um, oh, I'm telling too much. I'm telling, did I just tell myself? <laughs> but, um, so yeah, guys, so I'm in Atlanta right now. I just left Ikea. This was my first time ever experiencing ATL traffic like I have never experienced Atlanta traffic before um, my boyfriend always drives everywhere that we go so today was my first time you know going on a mission by myself and y'all this Atlanta traffic is crucial so um I left Ikea they didn't have what I was looking for um, so I, I drove down there and walked around the store and I didn't even it was for no reason um then i just left staples i really really have a lot to update you guys on um i did say that i was gonna do a life update like a sit down video life update which i am gonna do um so i'm leaving staples now i am about to head home i had to drop off some papers to get laminated because i am currently studying for um I'm currently studying for the life insurance uh, pre-licensing exam or whatnot. Did I say it correctly? I'm basically trying to get my life insurance um, license. So that's what I'm currently studying for right now. So I printed out some flashcards um, and I dropped them off to Staples to get them laminated just so that I can use them as a study guide, obviously. But um. I hope you guys are doing well. I did want to pick back up the camera and let you guys know what was going on. Like I said, I'm headed home and I have some packages. So yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing once I get to the house. And I want to show you guys what I actually ended up getting my boyfriend for Father's Day because I did. I don't think I ever got to show you guys that because I left Atlanta on Father's Day. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in a few. Come say hi to the vlog. Freaking, he's such a crybaby, guys. I'm not crybaby, okay? Come say, come say hi to the vlog. Come on. Say hi. All right, guys. So we're about to head home. You, 
you guys already know i really don't like um vlogging and driving at the same time so we'll see you in a few so yeah back in atlanta for another two to three weeks i do fourth of july is on sunday um I don't know what we're gonna do. I believe we're gonna go to a party. I kind of wanted to go to Six Flags. Um, so we'll see what's happening, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I did not pick up the vlog last night. <clears throat> I actually, after that last clip, guys, I went to go get my nails done. I got a really simple, really cute summer orange on my nose and feet. Came back home. We actually ended up going to Kroger. So we actually ended up going to Kroger, getting some groceries and stuff like that. Came home, it was late. I had me two glasses of wine and I was like white girl wasted. So today is a beautiful day. Today is actually my boyfriend's granddaughter's birthday. So we are headed to Columbus, Georgia to hang out with her for her birthday. And must Omari's having a temper tantrum this morning. He's being so annoying, but it is what it is. Um, we're about to get ready to roll out. I just wanted to pick back up the vlog and say hi to you guys. Oh, all right, guys. So we're about to go on a quick little I think it's like a one hour drive um, to my boyfriend's daughter's house we're gonna take my car wait when come on this side I look fabulous tired I look sleepy you like a fabulous woman with a little bit of baby. With a big ass baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I look good. I look good. I should have had me a nice little watch, wristwatch, or a bangle. You don't have one at all? Uh uh. Right. See, that's what I've been looking for for my bike. You see how the thing on the front of it? Yeah. Cause I'm gonna put a system on it. I was gonna ride him yesterday. Who tell you? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he would have so much fun. I don't know. Then again, yeah, he probably would have fun. Oh, he he's, ride cause he's he don't an adrenal no adrenaline junkie. Oh, he, he always, did. Yeah, he always gonna sit on him. All right, guys. So we're almost there. We stopped actually at Walmart. My boyfriend had already bought gifts for his granddaughter, but I also promised her a um, some Barbie dolls. So I got her the Cave Club Barbie dolls. I made sure that they were brown skin dolls. So I got her these and I got her so that is what we're currently doing. My hair is so cute. It's popping, it's popping, or whatever. Here, throw this away, please. What is it? The bag from Arby's. Trash. Yeah. So that's the plan, guys. That's what we're doing. Yes, you are being egg baby. Yes, you are being aggravating. I'm not aggravating right now, Mommy. Yes, you are being aggravating. I didn't know. But you 
smells good. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back. Oh my goodness. I am back. Um, I think I talked to you guys yesterday on the way to um, the little family get together party thing. And um, so yeah, so I vlogged a little bit of my day yesterday. Things got a little bit too lit last night. <laughs> it was supposed to be a kid's party, but um, it was a vibe. Um, it was a really good vibe. I enjoyed myself. So I did tell you guys the day before yesterday that I did order some stuff from Amazon. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open those, open the packages now, whatever with you guys. Actually, let me put on my robe because I just have like on a bralette. Ever since I was a so, young and I've been representing I'm real quickly. Sees the hard work that I've been So I'm gonna go ahead and open these packages with you guys Also, it is July 1st um, Happy July 1st, guys um, It's a new month And I'm super excited about this month um, I don't know, I just feel like This really amazing shift it's happening it's about to happen it's happening now so I, I really feel good about this month um so let's have a good month i'm gonna try to get this vlog up by tonight um so yeah that's neither here nor there let's go ahead and open up these packages let's see can I move you guys? Okay. This one. <laughs> so, I ordered some stuff from Amazon. I think primarily because I wanted to treat myself. <laughs> but, um... I can't help it. Plus, you guys know I'm an Amazon affiliate, so. Um, like I always say, the links to all of these products will be down below in the description box. So, this month, I want to make sure, you know, last month, um, oh, as a matter of fact, let me show you guys something. Oh, so, real quick. Last month, what I did was, well, the month before last month, when I was planning June, I decided that I have two planners. I have one planner that's all about, like, you know, my bills, um, all about, you know, things that I have to do, um, like, you know, professionally or just, like, things that need to be taken care of just to make sure that my machine keeps moving right um then i have my things that cater to like my spiritual wellness my physical wellness my mental wellness so i have a planner for each thing right so this is the planner where i write about the things that i want to do for myself spiritually mentally emotionally you know so for example i don't know if you guys can see it but this planner i have it mapped out where you know, every Sunday, I'll journal and relax. Um, on Monday, I try to do like a random act of kindness. So I just try to randomly do something for someone, whether I know them or, or not. Um, so yeah, then on Tuesdays, I like to meditate. So for example, I'll sit here um, and just close my eyes or I'll lay down and just really, really become one with myself um, and meditate. 
Then on Wednesdays, I like to do at least like 30 minutes of fitness. So I purchased a few fitness um, products or whatnot um, that I'll show you guys in a few. Um, on Thursdays, I like to read a book. So I like to at least read a book for 30 to 45 minutes every, you know, every Thursday or whatnot. And then on Fridays, I'll probably do something like dance. I'll put on some music and dance around with Omari. I'll do some beading. You guys know I found a new hobby in making waist beads and jewelry making and stuff like that. So, and then on Saturdays, that's my self-care day. That's the day I do my face mask and, you know, my overall hygiene and, and self-care and things like that. So, these are the things that keep me in alignment, that keep me focused, that keep, you know, keep me oiled up so that my machine keeps moving. So, I have two planners. I really would recommend that method to... Um, to anybody who's like really serious about their personal growth and their personal development, I feel like since I've done that, it's helped me so much. Just kind of keep the balance between, you know, the real world and the hustle and bustle, as well as making sure that I'm taking care of myself spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. That balance is so important. And I realized that a lot of the reason why I kept hitting these roadblocks was because um, I didn't know how to differentiate or separate um, the hustle and bustle lifestyle and like, you know, the grind versus, you know, making sure that I'm in, I'm in alignment and, you know, I'm meditating and I'm focused and I'm happy, you know, those things matter just as much as making money, just as much as hustling or grinding or whatever. You know, so coming to that realization has really helped me a lot when it comes to my per personal growth. I feel like I'm able to balance it all a little bit better, right? So here's some of what I purchased. So I did go in and I'll leave all this stuff linked below in the description box. As you guys know, my affiliate links will be down there, um, down below. So, I want to get on my fitness grind. So, I did get me some, um, some, I believe these are called leg bands, like resistance bands. Um, so when you squat or whatever you're doing, you can kind of incorporate this for resistance that working out back there try to every morning get up do some yoga just meditate try to get back outside get back into nature and kind of really reconnect um i don't know if i tell you guys but i left i actually like i was not gonna resign from my job until the 18th so i was gonna put in my two-week resignation and let them know like hey i'll be leaving x y and z um the universe my heart my mind would not let me go back to that job like i think i told you guys a couple clips ago in the vlog but it just was not purpose-filled work and i'm not somebody who can i can't waste my life or i can't i can't waste my hours my days doing things that don't fulfill me and i had to let that job go even though it was a paycheck and some people might be like well it's a paycheck it's a paycheck that you know it wasn't worth it in retrospect like working somewhere that just does not fulfill me right so i call that shit quits i let that shit go but i did make sure that I had some money saved, I have some money saved. Um, I did make sure, you know, I have a plan on what I wanna do to make sure that I can continue to live my life, take care of myself, take care of my son, and just, you know, so yeah. But like I said, I will have a life update video coming just talking a little bit more and I'm gonna be doing a um, 
like a single mom money video like a single mom budget slash money management video because since I've been on my own with my son I've learned so much about just money management financial literacy credit and how to have your money work for you so I will be doing a video on that and I cannot wait oh yeah and okay I had some stuff I want to talk to you guys about I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna finish the unboxing and then we'll get into that but one more thing is I finally have an upload schedule guys so the upload schedule is going is going to be Sundays Wednesdays and Saturdays so that is my official upload schedule now that I'm not working, I plan on producing content consistently. So you guys will be getting a lot more videos from me. So the new upload schedule for YouTube videos is going to be Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So on those three days, you guys can be expecting either a vlog or a sit down video for me, whatever. So yeah, now let's get back into this unboxing right now so i also picked up this book called the seven spiritual laws for parents um this is also this is by deepak shop um uh, chopra this is also the author of the seven spiritual laws of success so i haven't read that one yet but i guess that's the main I really felt like I needed this book. My son is five years old. I'm a single mom now. Um, well, I pretty, I've always been a single mom, but you know, my son is five years old. This, he's my first child. I'm 25 years old. I got pregnant when I was 19. I gave birth to him at 20. So I and and I'm at a point in my life where I'm healing. I'm growing. I'm evolving. I'm becoming. And I'm learning that I have to be gentle with myself. I have to be kind with myself. And um, I have to be understanding towards myself as well. So I feel like any chance I can get to kind of help me understand this parenting journey better or help me improve in certain areas of my parenting, um, I'm all for it. You know, even when I was pregnant with my son, I took parenting classes. So, I, I just want to continue to learn, grow, and develop in every area of my life, you know? I don't ever want to neglect any area of my life. So, that's me as, you know, as a woman, as my own, you know, person, as a mother, as a girlfriend, as a soon-to-be wife, you know, like, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. I don't want to neglect any parts of me that make me who I am. Um, so I feel like the best way to do that is by, com you know, continuing to do self-development, whether that's reading a book, working out, whatever your goal is, do something that pertains to that so that you're always moving forward. And that's just my opinion, you know, you guys know, I love reading. I've made it my mission since last year with the box of books series to just make sure that I'm picking up books, make sure that I'm feeding my brain and it's it's helped me so much just through my healing journey um it really has helped me and open open my mind a lot so i also got the mastery of love i cannot wait to read this um i'm still reading the science of getting rich i've really taken my time with that book because there are some really key things in there that I want to be locked and embedded in my brain. Um, the Science of Getting Rich is a book that I feel like if I had a lock and a key, I would want to lock that book in my brain word for word verbatim because it's that good and that magical. But this is another book that I saw that I really wanted to try out. Um, but... The Mastery of Love, it says, A Practical Guide to the Art of Relationships. So I can't wait to read this. I'm excited about this because who doesn't want to understand love, how to be loved, or how to love 
somebody, right? Um, then I got this. I'll leave all this stuff linked down below. I hope that you guys can see it. But it says self-love workbook for women, release, release self-doubt, build self-compassion, and embrace who you are. Um, I'm super excited about diving into this. The reviews on this book are so freaking amazing. Um, it's an actual workbook. I guess you can just say that I'm stuck in my ways. I've been doing this ever since they've been So, I can't wait to get my I can't wait to really get my hands on these books. Mm, I also ordered a jump rope, y'all. I am serious. Sis is about to get fit. I have a picture on my vision board of how I want my body to look and I am going to look like that. Okay? So, I also bought me a jumping rope. Um, this is for me and my boyfriend. So if he wants to work out with me, you know, he can jump his rope, whatever. And what is this? Okay, so I had to order a new laptop charger for the 1600th time because my child is always breaking it. So I ordered a new laptop charger y'all know i have my desktop computers which are right here and i also need to um i went to i, I think i told y'all i yeah it should be in the vlog but i went to ikea the other day for no reason they didn't even have the desk in the um chair that i was looking for i was looking for the mickey desk but i was looking for it in a particular measurement the decision that i'm making is very much crucial I just hope I push through and somehow I don't lose it. Not the one worry about if I'm fitting the mode. It's charging. Sure I'm happy. I have some more packages coming today as well. Um, I'll also leave the link. I'm just trying to make music. Ow. I have a little cut right here and it hurts. So. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is one more package that I have. I believe that this is my yoga mat, if I'm not mistaken. I really want to focus on you know my internal health and my external health i feel like um i've cut like um i've cut beef out i've cut pork out like no steak um right now me and my boyfriend we only eat um seafood so we eat salmon um like fish and stuff like that um shrimp and chicken right now and i'm even really getting i'm i'm really not even a big fan of chicken anymore um so yeah so we're just really working on and then he's older than me so we have to i feel like I, it's my responsibility even him like he knows you know health is well so just trying to cut back on those things like now um for me is really good but even for him as well um just making sure that we watch like his salt intake the certain things that he eats is really important for him at this age so um it's really important to us to make sure that we're you know making sure that we're eating trying to eat healthy so that's making sure we have fruits and vegetables in the house at all times like water things like that so yeah so i have my yoga mat i have my jump rope i have my resistance bands this is about to get fit okay i'm so excited and it's so crazy because i'm gonna show i'll probably talk about this in the next vlog because too much and then he also already had this as well so 
One thing about it, my boyfriend's already super active. Like, he's literally building a house with his bare hands right now. But I know um, there's nothing like really, really being locked in and exercising, taking 30 to 45 minutes to just like stretch your body, move your body, you know, do push ups, jumping jacks, whatever the case may be. So I'm excited for both of us to start working out because I know once he see me working out, he's going to work out too. Period. So I'm excited about that. But like I said, guys, I have some more packages coming really soon. I'm actually about to, well, I can do this. I'm actually about to go ahead and order. Um, order my desk and my my desk and my chair from Ikea. Um, so another update. I am officially officially in Atlanta full time. Like, so I'm here. I'm locked in. I'm in Atlanta. Um, I don't know if I tell you guys, but I sublet my apartment to my brother. So my brother's actually at my apartment now. So me and Omari are officially like back in Atlanta. For for those of you who are, who are like OGs who've been here, um, you know that I moved to Atlanta in 2019. I left Atlanta in 2020. And then now I'm back in Atlanta now. So I still have my apartment um, about three hours away from Atlanta. But my brother is subletting it right now. Um, and I'm over here in the A with Omari and Tony, who is my boyfriend. So um, Atlanta is, fish is officially my home again. I'm actually looking for an office space. Um, we have, you know, obviously my boyfriend has a house. But... Um, he works a lot and he's a reseller like he's a wholesaler so his house is like full of things he does ebay um so space is like super 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 tight as of right now i don't know if it's meant for me to have an office space one will become available to me i'll hear about it i'll find out about it something will happen that allows me to get my hands on an office space you know so I'm just going to leave that in the hands of the universe for now. I'm just going to do what needs to be done, period. So, yeah, I have some more packages coming in. It says that they're being delivered. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and try to purchase my desk and chair from Ikea. And yes, I do have a desk and chair back at home that would probably fit perfectly right here in this corner, but I don't want to use the desk and chair that I'm using now and how I see it. I can either just sell one or the other. So I can sell the one that I have back at my house or I can sell the one that I'm about to order now, like just resell it. Um, but I need a desk and a chair, so I'm going to order it. And that's it. I don't think I'm leaving the house today. Honestly, I woke up. I, ha I folded the laundry. Um, I did the dishes, folded the laundry, put the clothes up, made Omari breakfast, fixed the bed, like did some things around the house. I really, really need to make space and everything here because ladies if you have a man or your boyfriend men can be so messy sometimes so just having that feminine energy around just having somebody there to like pick up the mess and get everything organized can really make a difference so i'm probably just spend the rest of the day just working around the house getting some things done um working back and forth with my client and that's pretty much it if anything new happens or my packages come i will be back with that but i love you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my content and i'll see you in a few okay so i have ordered my mickey desk and my chair so that's it right there 
we'll go pick it up tomorrow tomorrow morning my boyfriend and I will go pick it up so I'm excited about that this is like my current this was like my makeshift <laughs> this whole thing this get up so all of this will be gone tomorrow and I'll have my Mickey desk and my desk chair I'm so excited I can finally you know feel like I have a little space and I can work um so yeah now let me check and see where my other packages are and I'll be right back okay I'm back oh I'm so excited my package my package arrived okay so I've been doing stuff I, re I reorganized the kitchen cabinets and the freezer. I'm tired and I got something in my eye. But my package came. I'm so excited. It smells so good. I can smell the. Oh my goodness. I hope one of my things didn't huh? pop open. Huh? No, I'm just doing an unboxing video. Oh man, I think one of my bottles popped pop open. You ordered what? All these two plugs for a sister from the motorcycle. I got this from somebody. Uh huh. So I ordered, and you can then have these plugs, all these plugs. To put music on it? Yeah, so I'm definitely about to find out about that. All right, guys, so I did order some some um, spiritual waters. I ordered some spiritual waters. Um, it looks like they may have seeped open a little bit. The bottles still look full. They smell really, really good, but they did, I don't know what happened. But the bag is like wet. I don't know if you guys can see. But I did order, I think, like seven spiritual waters and a Florida water. I like spiritual waters for my bath as a fragrance, like just like perfume. So I got, I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly which ones I got. Um... So I actually ordered two, four, I ordered six spiritual waters. Well, oh, no, five, I'm sorry. So I also got an instant holder. It's the Hamsa hand. I'm so freaking excited. It's the Hamsa hand. And I'm assuming that you just, Stick your incense in the fingers and it holds it for you and catches the ashes that is so beautiful oh my goodness I can't wait to use this I also got ah, a soulful vibes crystal set oh my goodness these are my first set of crystals and I am screaming on the inside right now these are my first set of crystals so I'm gonna clean I'm gonna bury them in the back if I could find somewhere I'm gonna bury them in the yard overnight then I'll take them out like this is what they tell you to do on the website you can either clean them with moon water you can let the moon charge them you can bury them I prefer to bury mine I prefer to bury mine so I'm gonna bury my crystals leave them overnight and then get them out and clean them with my Florida water I am so freaking excited oh my goodness oh my goodness <gasps> these are <gasps> oh my gosh I'm going to go on the website, as a matter of fact, right now, and I'll sh I'll tell you guys what set I ordered, and I'll tell you what each crystal is. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. So freaking beautiful. Look at my crystals. I got my crystals, bitches. So I actually ordered a set. Um, I believe that this set of crystals is called the self set. This, these crystals are for confidence, self-acceptance, self-love. Um, so that's what these crystals are for. Or I don't remember. I believe I got, I, I'm going to check and see which crystal set I ordered. But, um, so these are my crystals. And once again, I purchased this from Soul Vibes Co. I'll, I'll try to get an affiliate link or discount code that I can leave below for you guys. But, oh my goodness, these crystals are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So, I am going to bury mine in the yard somewhere where I can find a little dirt hole. And leave them overnight okay this is the paper right here let me see okay yeah so the crystal set that i got was the for self-love acceptance awareness and confidence um and they also sent me a free crystal as well being that it was my first time purchasing from their website so this crystal is the Hem hematite crystal and I believe this one was for focus if I'm not mistaken I have to look on their website but I'll correct it if I'm wrong oh my goodness I'm so freaking excited oh my goodness oh my gosh Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'll leave all this stuff linked down below in the description box. In the description box, but that is so That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at all of my crystals. Oh, my hands a hand. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I wish you guys can really see. You can't really see it, guys. Let me see. Ah. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. So that is some of the stuff that I ordered from Soul Vibes Co. Okay, let's go over. Um, ooh, that smells so good. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put my crystals in this bag. I'm actually gonna bury them in this bag, as a matter of fact. So I'm not gonna put the crystals in the dirt necessarily, but I'm just gonna bury the bag and leave it overnight. Can you see my hands in here? I also ordered, and this is really, really like special for me. I also ordered a gold $100 bill. And this gold bill is basically um for blessings when it comes to money when it comes to like financial wellness and just like financial abundance this is supposed to go into your wallet and you carry it with you everywhere you go of course you say your your money affirmations and things like that so 
before I use any of this stuff, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna sage all of this stuff before I use it, wipe everything down with my Florida water, and uh, let the manifestation begin, period. So I did get some spiritual waters, and I'm gonna tell you guys the kind that I got. I'm gonna wipe it off because a few of them, two of them did leak open, but it's still very full. Um, this one is for love. This one is to attract love, uh, you know, self-love, all kinds of love, just to attract love, right? Love from friends, family, love within yourself. That's what this spiritual water is for, right? This one is, oh, let me wipe it. It's dripping. This one is for success, success and prosperity. So that before you leave your, your house, just put a little bit on, rub it on the palm of your hand, spray it all over you real quick and that's that this one is for road opener so say for example that you go into an interview or you want something to go your way this is really good just to spray all over spray in the palm of your hand and just my opinion is I love spiritual waters I love what they signify and stand for I, I've always used spiritual waters, but it also is a belief thing. Like you have to believe in these things for these things to actually work in your favor. So not only just spraying the spiritual waters or just to say like, oh, I have it, but actually believing that through affirmation, through positive self-talk, through belief in the universe and the most high, that whatever you want in your heart all of your heart's greatest desires will find you that's the point that's the whole entire point it starts here right is the florida water which pretty much everybody knows about florida water you either probably use your house to clean it or whatever so those are the ones i ordered road opener success and prosperity love then i have my regular spiritual water you put on if you want to speak to any one of the orishas or call upon your deity or just have their support the support of your ancestors or the support of your orisha or whatever throughout the day so i got this one as well this is the seven african powers cologne and this is one that actually did not open it is dry so I'm really excited. What I'm gonna do is just get probably like little small sample size spray bottles, just so that if I'm going out doing something, I can spray them on really quickly. And they all so far, from what I've smelled in the ones that kind of opened a little bit, they smell really, really good. Um, I've always gotten spiritual water this is gonna be my first time. I mean, I've always gotten Florida water, but this is gonna be my first time trying the spiritual waters from Soul Vibes Co. So I'm really excited to try these. And yeah, I'm so excited about my little crystal babies. So I already feel so much love in my heart just holding them now. I love my crystals. Okay, but I think all, in total, I think for my Hamza hand, my gold $100 bill, and then my one, two, three, four, five spiritual waters, I paid, um, I paid a total of, I think, $71. And I got two discounts, actually, and a free item. So that was love. I believe I got two discounts because I purchased 
for the first time from their website this is my first purchase ever and then they actually like I said sent me one free crystal besides the four other crystals that I purchased so I have five crystals guys and I think, like I said, I paid a total of like $72 or something like that. So I am so excited about that. I did tell you guys that once my package came, I would share that with you. But now I'm about to eat something because I haven't eaten anything all day. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. <sighs> And leave a comment down below. Alright guys. Bye. This lighting is horrible. But as I was cleaning out the cabinet, I found this jar it was empty so i made a gratitude jar it spelled backwards but just to write down each day something that we are grateful for that happened in our day and we can stick it in this jar and read it at the end of the year so we can see how good god has been to us I always wanted to try this, so when I saw the jar and it was just sitting there empty, I was like, hmm, what can I do? So, if you guys have a gratitude jar, tell me down below in the comment section, like, you know, about what motivated you or inspired you to create a gratitude jar, or, you know, maybe if I inspire you to create one, leave a comment down below and thumbs up this video. Press subscribe. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and write my note now, and then I'll be back. And I'm going to let Omari write his gratitude note as well. What? Yep, you're going to write one. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I want to be friends. Okay. All right, guys. So, okay, so what are you grateful for? Tell mommy. i just a good boy. I just good. Okay, so what are you grateful for? Like, are you grateful for your toys? Are you grateful for your clothes? Are you grateful for um, it's Sonic the Hedgehog? You grateful for Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. Okay, so put this one. And you're gonna put it inside, okay? Okay. So it's mommy turn. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right. So he has written his first two notes to go inside the gratitude jar. Um, I'm gonna write his name on them so at the end of the year he can, you know, it's gonna be really cool to see see him evolve. I guess like what he's grateful for see it change as he learns more about gratitude and appreciation and just being thankful so his first one his first ever note to go inside the gratitude jar is i am grateful for sonic the hedgehog which is so cute because he loves sonic the hedgehog i'm grateful for the fact that i have so many things to be grateful for <laughs>
after, but I did use um, Florida water to clean out the jar beforehand. Um, you know, whenever you're utilizing something for your higher power or you're, you know, doing something that pertains to your mentor spiritual wellness, I feel like it's always good to sage or either use Florida water. So I use Florida water to cleanse the jar before I stuck the label on it or before I even put our notes inside. So that's our gratitude jar. And all of our notes are gonna go inside. So I'm here in Atlanta now with Tony. Um, so I really need to be making some phone calls and everything and getting my entire life switched back to um, the 404 area. But other than that, today's really been a really chill day. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog. Like I said, I'm about to get some work done, um, get myself cleaned up for one, get some work done pay some bills and everything like that because it is the first of the month so i think that's about it yeah today was a really chill day really relaxed i'm gonna go ahead also and get dinner started in a few um and that's it that's it i think i'm in the vlog here if not then you guys will see me again but, okay okay i'm back real quick so the other day I told you guys that I had the other day I told you guys that I had stopped by Staples um, because I needed some stuff to laminated. This is actually what I had laminated. These are flashcards that I actually have to cut. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I am studying to get my life insurance license. I joined a company called Primerica, uh, and they actually help you get your life and health insurance license. So these are the flashcards that I'll be studying and everything like that um, so that I can pass the life insurance. So that I can pass the um, life insurance exam. So yeah, so it basically just talks about everything that has to do with insurance, uh, your 401k plan your collateral assignment, your absolute assignment, accelerated death benefit, all that stuff. So this is basically like my study material. I knew that if it was just paper that I would probably lose it or, you know, something would happen. So I just went ahead and got it laminated and um, that was the best bet for me. So I will be taking you guys on that journey as well um, with getting my life insurance license and everything like that. So right now I'm about to get my planners out so I can kind of plan, already plan July out um, in, my, in my professional planner. But in my self-care planner, like I told you guys, I have two planners. I haven't planned July out for my self-care planner yet. So I wanna make sure that I'm always incorporating some form of self-care. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'm about to, you know, just pay some bills and things like that. Um, my day has been pretty good. I think I'm in the vlog here and I'll talk to you guys in my next video when I have something else interesting going on. I don't know. Um, and I have two things that I'm not sharing with you guys right now, but I'm gonna share in the next video. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content, if you want me to keep putting out more videos. Ah. So yeah, come say bye to the vlog. You won, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, all right vlog, bye. See you guys later. Bye. At the top of the hour, the hour, that is the darkest. I bet that you need me, I bet that you want this